Hi, I'm excited to present our paper on biosecure for semi-supervised object detection. Semi-supervised learning has made significant progress recently, and existing semi-supervised techniques have mainly focused on image classification and nuclear object detection tasks. Therefore, we are interested in proposing a semi-supervised object detection method to reduce the need for labels and leverage additional unlabeled data. A straightforward method is to apply existing semi-supervised classification techniques on the object detection, and pseudo-labeling is one of the most successful methods in the classification task. However, the nature of class imbalance in object detection impedes the effectiveness of pseudo-labeling methods. To be more specific, when we use demi sulfide data to train an object detector. The model is likely to generate BIOS prediction, and the generated labels may thus be biased towards the dominant classes, while ignore minor and least confidence classes. As a result, adding BIOS pseudo labels into the semi sulfide training makes the class imbalance issue more severe. And this is pseudo-labeling BIOS issue, which is not addressed in existing works. With thus proposing a general framework on BIOS teacher, approach that jointly train the student and the teacher in a mutually beneficial manner. Our framework contains two training stages, brain stage, and teacher student mutual learning stage. In the brain stage, we simply train the object detector using available label data to initialize the detector. In the student learning stage, the teacher takes the unlabeled image as input and generates corresponding pseudo labels for training the student. In the teacher refinement stage, in order to obtain the more stable pseudo labels, we apply exponential moving average to gradually update the teacher model. Our unbiased teacher applies two techniques to address the pseudo label bias issue. First, when we turn the ROI head, we replace the cross entropy with the focal loss, which put more weight on the low confidence instance. Therefore, it makes the model focus on the hard samples, which are least likely from the dominant classes. On the other hand, EMA training can also alleviate the pseudo-label and BIOS issue due to the consecutive property of EMA training. To be more specific, the regularization of previous teacher model is equivalent to putting an additional small coefficient on the gradient. With slowly changing decision boundary, the pseudo-labels of the unlabeled data are least likely to change dramatically, and this prevents the decision boundary from moving toward minority classes. With our proposed mutual learning mechanism, we can get the more accurate pseudo-labels. Also, with the focal loss and EMA, we can alleviate the pseudo-label BIOS issue and produce some BIOS pseudo-labels from the teacher model. In the first experiment, we test some BIOS feature on MS Coco standard task, where only 0.5% to 10% data are labeled. By addressing pseudo-labeling BIOS issue in object detection, our unbiased teacher can improve around 10 absolute AP against supervised only baseline and significantly perform badly against other baseline methods. In order to investigate whether the existing object detector models can be further improved by using additional label data, we consider cross dataset tasks in our experiment. For cross field datasets, our unbiased teacher can also achieve better results compared with the existing semi-supervised methods. In summary, we identified a sub-labeling bias issue in the semi-supervised object detection task. We also propose unbiased teacher, which can achieve the set of our results in multiple semi-supervised object detection benchmarks. Thank you for listening, and please check our project page for more details.